Coming up next on Columbus Connection, we're going to talk about how to make your life better with things that you are already doing or may not be doing. We're going to show you how. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connections. I am your host, David Britt, and kids just went back to school. So if you're like me, you had a very high electricity bill. You just want to send them back on the bus and take that Georgia Power bill with them. Well, it may not just be because it's hot outside, or it may not just be because your kids were inside all summer long with the hair on 72 degrees. It may be that your house is not as energy efficient as it could be. And you don't think about that as much when we're talking about poverty and, and, and income and, and just living life. What are the things that you could be doing to help yourself out with your home and where you live and just your lifestyle? That's what my next guest is here to talk about, Ms. Bernita Haynes with Georgia Watch. Hi there. Thank hey. you for having me on. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to meet you. Now tell us, tell, I just kind of just touched on it, but tell mm -hmm. me, what is Georgia Watch? How do y'all work? What does it have to do with power and energy and lifestyle? Mm -hmm. So Georgia Watch, we are a 501c3 nonprofit. We're located in Atlanta, but we work statewide on consumer issues. So all those issues that affect quality of life. Gotcha. Um, our real goal is to push for a future of equity and justice for all Georgians. Mm -hmm. And that really requires looking at all of those issues that low income Georgians in particular are dealing with on a day to day basis that affect their quality of life. Utility bills and energy bills. Uh, health care access, financial protection. Are you mm. looking into short-term, high-interest, predatory loans that may trap you into poverty, right? And access to civil justice. Have you forfeited your right to arbor, you know, to go mm. to court? Stuck yourself into an arbitration yeah. agreement, that kind of thing. So we work across all of those issues, um, and we do that through education as well as policy work. In the energy space in particular, we are very, very fixated on ensuring that Georgians don't have to deal with that crazy $500 utility mm -hmm. bill in the yeah. middle of the winter because they're living in an energy inefficient home. Now, when you say things like energy inefficient, what does that actually mean? Mm -hmm. It sounds kind of wonky. But energy of inefficiency, in a nutshell, means you're living in a home that has lots of leaks and drafts. It's almost like you have the door open whenever you have the heat mm -hmm. on in the winter right. and vice versa in the summer. Yeah. So your heater is just running and running and you are spending lots of money to keep that place warm because all that heat's going right out into the cold. Um, many folks around the state, um, in Columbus and elsewhere, find themselves living in energy inefficient homes, especially if they're living in old houses, which can make their housing really unaffordable. Right. You know, if your rent's great at five or six hundred dollars, but you got a five hundred dollar utility bill. Housing and you don't think about that. Right. You're, looking, you're just looking at what's the lowest rent. Right. You don't often think about all those extra costs if you're in an older place, the insulation and, and, and things like that. Yeah, and it can just balloon and get really crazy. Yeah. Um, and when we're looking at a situation like what we have in Georgia and around the country nowadays in terms of housing affordability and the housing crisis, mm -hmm. it is crucial that we address the role that energy and power bills play in that space. Yeah. Um, so we've been having these energy equity forums, as we like to call them, around the state. We yeah. actually started out in Camilla, down way in southwest Georgia. Oh, so you've been on tour. Uh huh. Okay. Just doing a little state tour. Yeah. Um, and we did one back in Columbus in May with some partners here locally, uh, United Way of the Chattahoochee mm -hmm. Valley, right. as well as Enrichment Services. I mean, who better to understand exactly. what people really need um, in Columbus? And they or eager to get us to come back out again. So we're having a second energy equity forum in October okay. at the Columbus Library, the central one here. Okay. And what's the date on that? It's October 13th um, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I'm asking folks to give me part of their Saturday. And believe me, we keep a tight schedule, so I'll get you right out of there. Um, and the purpose of that forum is to bring together community members and residents as well as utility leaders. So we'll have mm -hmm. someone from Georgia Power there talking about programs they have available, um, as well as advocates from around the state to just talk about very specific ways you can reduce your energy usage and lower your utility bill. So whether it's 
changing out all your bulbs to mm -hmm. LED bulbs, right. using power strips, sealing up cracks around your windows, which is very cheap and easy to do, actually, um, to also programs that are available to help you make some of those more expensive improvements, like mm -hmm. insulating your attic and things yeah. of that nature. Um, and then what can we do to really push legislators and policymakers to create better programs so that folks are not having to deal with that reality of a $500 utility bill. Yeah. So those are just some of the things that really um, get discussed at an energy equity forum. And we're really hoping for some, some significant engagement um, yeah. from residents in October. So you guys are, one, you equip people with knowledge of mm -hmm. um, things that, that they may have overlooked. Mm -hmm. And then you're bringing in professionals and people who are actually there to help. And then looking at it a step further as what can we do on a grander scale? Yeah, yeah, because awesome. it, it's always important to me to combine the tangible, practical, this is what I can do today, with the forward thinking, what can I do to, instead of putting out the fire all the time, what can I do to prevent the fire in the first yeah. place? It's really what it's about, and that's the policy side of what we do. So one thing that Georgia Watch spends a lot of time doing is lobbying on behalf of Georgia consumers down at the legislature and at other legislative bodies like the Public Service Commission. We're down there trying to appeal to the better natures of our legislators and policy makers, doing that through storytelling. Like, is it, how important is it to bring a real live person yeah. before the legislature, before the policy makers, to let those folks hear what regular people are going through every day? But then we also obviously try to back all that up with data and mm -hmm. hard facts. Um, to make as convincing an argument as possible for programs that will benefit um, vulnerable Georgians. Gotcha. Now you touched on a few things that people can do to help lower their energy bill. And we don't want to give everything away that they're going to see yeah. when they come out. But what are some of the other things that they can do? Yeah, so besides um, installing LED light bulbs, which will save you loads of money, trust me, I know from personal experience, um, and buying power strips. Mm. So more often than not, we plug our appliances up in the outlet um, and we don't necessarily use power strips. Now the benefit of power strips is that you don't have to go around your house unplugging everything before you leave. You just flip off the one power strip Makes and you're good to go, right? And then they have fancy power strips where you can turn certain things off on the power strip and leave certain things on. Um, Thermostats. So there's a fancy thermostat called the Nest thermostat, and then there's also a couple of other ones that allow you to actually control your thermostat remotely. Yeah, well, so much. I was thinking so much technology is out yeah. now that it hasn't been out previously. Yeah. You, just from your phone, you can. Yeah, I personally installed the Nest thermostat, um, which Georgia Power has like an instant rebate rebate for mm. it um, when you buy it from their marketplace. Um, it can still be very expensive for folks, though, but some programs Georgia Power has will mm. provide those for free. So oh, wow. that's the thing. Um, but it's wonderful. Let's say you leave home and you forget to turn your thermostat like down low enough so that it doesn't come on too mm -hmm. often while you're away because you don't want to be cooling your house when you're not there. Yeah. Well, with thermostats, uh, like some of the newer, fancier ones, you can control it remotely. Usually you just download an app on your phone and you can turn your thermostat yeah. off remotely. And also, even better, see how much energy you're using on a day-to-day -day basis. Wow. So I know if I use less energy on Tuesday, then my Georgia Power charge for that Tuesday should be much lower yeah. than you know, any other days where I've used more. So you start to be able to find Make some Make you more conscious of it. Yeah, you can take better control, essentially, of yeah. your energy usage. Yeah. Those are just a couple of things. The other big things, like insulating your attic, I mean, that can cost a lot of money. Um, mm -hmm. It can be really out of reach for folks. Right. So, but yeah, those are just a few things that you can do. Awesome. Tell us again, when is it going to be? The Energy Equity Forum will be at the Columbus Library Central here on October 13th. That's a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. 10 to 3. And it's there will be free. food and everything and giveaways. Is, it, is there a cost to it? Nope. It's no completely cost. free. It's free. Everything we do is free. It's educational. You're going to learn something. And you mentioned that this is going to be specifically based on energy and electricity, but they can get information or find out how to learn about more things. Yeah. So learn. one of, and part of that forward thinking, things that we can be doing to prevent the fires, that involves conversations around community solar mm -hmm. and things of that nature and what kind of options may or may not be available to you in Columbus related to solar. Mm -hmm. Columbus wow. is actually doing some really exciting stuff on the clean energy front. So. Wow. 
Yeah, so there'll be a lot of discussions around some of those more novelty types of technology and options available. Great. How can people contact you to get more information? So you can find us at www.georgiawatch.org, and that's Georgia spelled out. I can also be contacted very easily at 404-525-1085. There's only four of us in our office, so you are guaranteed to reach me. Awesome. Great information. Be out there. You're going to learn something that will really make your life better and help you lower that electricity bill. Thanks for watching. This is Columbus Connections.